Hi, I'm Alan Hines. I'm an instructor here at Musicians Institute, and I focus mainly on improvisational techniques, um, kind of a fusion of jazz and blues and rock concepts. Um, for me, I learned years ago that uh, the legato uh, style worked really good for me. I was never very good at alternate picking, so I uh, developed a style of playing legato, uh, probably from trying to emulate saxophone players or maybe the great Alan Holdsworth, trying to get that style. And in the process, I found that generally, uh, if I hammered on, uh, if I played a scale up the neck, if I hammered on when I changed strings, um, I pretty much only had to pick whenever I changed strings. I would, uh, if I play a scale like, I was never very good at playing that very fast, but I could play that really fast by going, by hammering on. So that technique I found over the years uh, and in trying to explain it to students, takes a lot of strength with the left hand. And um, so I have a couple exercises here that I've developed to help you develop that strength, to maybe help you get more of a legato approach in your, style, in your playing. Um, the uh, first exercise I'm going to show you is, uh, and once again, this is not uh, necessarily so important to know what the scale is. It's more about the technique and building strength of your left hand to get the legato feel and sound. In this case, I'm going to start on the G string on the uh, ninth fret on the E note and pull off to C, which is on the fifth fret, hammer on the seventh fret to the D, and repeat that. I guess that's the whole lick right there, isn't it? It's not a real complicated lick. And I have a lot of, many students who come into my open counseling who can do this really quick because they're kind of shredder guys and they can get it at one tempo and be pretty blinding fast, but when you get them to slow down, that's the hard part. So I emphasize all my students to uh, encourage them to use a metronome and work on this technique playing slow and making sure all the notes are held out really nice and long. So you really build up that strength in your left hand. Play along with records, play along with the metronome, but make sure that the notes are singing and that they're all nice and long and, and, and uh, round sounding. You can also get to the next step and start skipping strings and using your imagination, of course. That really helps build strength. So, once again, it's all up to you to take these ideas and experiment with your own uh, favorite chord voicings, different pentatonic scales, wherever you know on the neck. But the idea is to get the strength and play it slow. Record yourself when, you record, when you're playing this stuff. I even get my students to record themselves when they're practicing this stuff to make sure that they're doing it cleanly and to make sure that they're not wasting time. Um, nothing's more embarrassing than hearing yourself on a tape recorder and realizing your shortcomings. Uh, I tell my students it's like listening to their voice on a voice machine. You know, you hear yourself, you go, do I sound like that? So you hear these little things and you make improvements fast and that's a great way to learn faster um, and not waste any time. Anyway, I'm going to turn on the tape again and I'm going to play this technique and try to use it uh, as I can over an e, uh, e minor 7 groove. Um, and uh, hopefully you'll have uh, some good luck with this in the future.